You may have thought that Macs are completely immune to viruses. I certainly did before I got infected with Chilltab. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably infected with Chilltab too. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get rid of it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. So Chilltab is a type of adware that comes packaged in application bundles. Uh, I got it by downloading a piece of software and for some reason it just booted itself onto my computer and attached itself as a uh, Safari extension. That's when you'll notice that it happens because it continuously loops itself into loading it on your Safari page. Now the reason you want to get rid of this is because it steals your personal information and also looks at your browsing history, stuff like that. All the personal stuff that you're probably not going to want an external organization to be looking at. Chances are if you've got Chill Tab, you're going to know about it. It slows down your machine like anything and it's going to keep on booting up Safari even if you're not using it. I mean personally I use Chrome and it still boots up every five seconds. But if you think you might have it, it might be an idea just to check because obviously there's no harm in doing so and you could save your computer in the long run. I literally spent an entire day last week trying to figure out how to remove Chill Tab off my computer and obviously that's why I'm making this video so you don't have to go through the pain and suffering that I did in order to get rid of it. So when I looked at a few different websites there were mixed opinions and stuff and in my opinion there was a few comments on there that made it look like they were actually posted by the Chill Tab developers. They were just telling you to go to certain different websites and download pieces of software that would only make the situation worse and then when I tried to get rid of the software it would just tell me if you pay X amount then you can get rid of it completely. So I have a feeling there was some sort of affiliation between these programs in order for them to make some sort of money out of it, I'm not too sure. But there was one method that I found on the internet that worked and it's completely gone from my computer now. I've run all different antivirus softwares. There is absolutely nothing left. And the piece of software that I used to get rid of it for good, it honestly, nothing pops up at all anymore. So I can guarantee that this will work. Uh, is the DetectX Swift. You don't want the normal DetectX, you want DetectX Swift. And that program is built specifically to get rid of the Chill Tab and also any other stuff that you don't want on your computer. So it's from Mac OS 10.11 plus, and you're gonna wanna click on where it says versions here. Uh, you wanna click download here, and it will download automatically to your computer. It's a DMG file. It's literally only 13.9 megabytes, so it's not gonna take up much space on your computer at all. Once you've downloaded it, you're gonna wanna go through the normal install process of how to install an application. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. And then you're gonna wanna boot it up from your applications folder. So when the program opens, you're gonna to wanna to click on the search button here. And once you've done that, it's gonna pop up with all the different files that detect the Chill Tab virus. And then all you have to do, there's just a big remove button. You just have to click remove and it will be gone from your computer forever. So obviously, if I click search on here, it does the entire thing and it says there's no threats or problems found whatsoever. Uh, and when I did this for the first time, it showed up saying that there was Chill Tab on the computer. I think it came up with like Mac Keeper or something like that in the files. And basically you just click remove and it just gets it off your computer and you'll be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can get Chill Tab off your computer because I know it annoyed me so much and it stopped me from making videos because it just kept on booting into Safari and slowing down my Final Cut Pro. It was absolutely crazy. So I really hope this helps you out. And if it does, obviously you can leave a like down below. And also if you have any problems, be sure to leave me a comment. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.